That's the latest from National Grid and Kim Kalunian is monitoring the power outage situation and much more at EMA headquarters. She is live in Cranston with the EMA director, Kim. Danielle and Patrick, that's right. I'm joined now by the Rhode Island EMA director, Mark Pappas. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your very busy day to talk to us. Um, you and the governor briefed us at around 10 a.m. What's changed since then? Because we know this is evolving very quickly. Yeah, so uh, we just got an update from the National Weather Service. Uh, the eye of the storm is approaching the mainland coast. It's just passing Block Island. Uh, we're looking for winds to stay heavy throughout the day. Uh, storm surge three to five feet, as we uh, delineated earlier. Not a lot of change, but as it comes inland, it'll start to slow down a little bit. And what are the main concerns for you right now? We were just talking about uh, tens of thousands of National Grid customers yeah. in Rhode Island without power. Are power outages your main concern at this time? Yeah, we were uh, concerned about both power outages and surge. Surge seems to be good timing for us on the tide, uh, but we continue to be concerned about power outages. Up to about 50,000 right now, but I know National Grid's waiting to go, and as soon as the wind calms down, it's safe for them to get in the buckets, they'll be on it. And in terms of folks who might be watching this on their, you know, their laptop, their mm -hmm. tablet, their cell phone, who don't have power, what is your message to them? Simple. Stay home, stay safe, and as best you can, stay in touch. And, and look out for the elderly and anybody who has any special needs. And that seems to be the message for all Rhode Islanders, whether they have power or not, stay home, stay off the roads. We know the bridges are closed to traffic, motorcycles, tractor trailers shouldn't be on the roads right now. Really, no one should be out on the roads until this blows through. Um, what's next in terms of the state's response? We got to see what we get uh, dealt with uh, due to the storm. It's still way early yet to know. Uh, and then we'll start recovery operations, see where the damage is, and start uh, figuring uh, all of that out as we go through the, the coming days. And in terms of federal assistance, mm -hmm. how has the federal government helped Rhode Island? What's their, what's their relationship with the state officials right now? It's very good. Uh, we started early talking to FEMA. Uh, they sent down a 15-person incident management team to help us through the event. Um, we've got communications, urban search and rescue assets, swift, uh, uh, swift water rescue assets in place, and uh, it's been very good. And in terms of the bridges, I just mentioned that Mount Hope, Newport, Jamestown, all closed to all traffic. Any ETA on when those might open back up? Not until the winds slow down. So it's TBD until then.